The building's custodian is on vacation for the month, and Dwight is too cheap to hire a replacement. I have created the chore wheel. Oh, yeah. Can I spin first? I'm familiar with spinning. It's just that wouldn't work with a chore wheel. A wheel wants to spin, Pam. Spinning would be more fun. <laughs> Even Jim agrees. That's what I'm talking about. Big money. Mug duty. <laughs> Kevin's not impressed. Yeah. I don't think that you understand wheels. <sighs> We've got prizes. Manager for an hour, but there are also penalties. Like no internet. Stanley gets your lunch. <gasps> On the chore wheel is chores. Creed's choice. <laughs> it's like a game now. The tiny wheel actually does have chores. It's so cute, no one seems to mind. Toilets! Oh, tiny wheel. Oh, tiny wheel. <laughs> Y'all are in there playing fucking games and the mice is a, the mice are getting fat. We are going to Roy's wedding. Uh where? Roy. I didn't even pay attention to the title of this episode. Banana? Yeah. I'm afraid he's only going to have hot dogs. Today I launched my big charity initiative. Andy has shot down all of my special projects thus far, but this one is about charity. This is what happens when you try to go for a person's job. Is this his house? I think so. Y'all are impressed? <laughs> Expecting less? Yes, thank you. I started a new business with my college friend, but Pam doesn't know. Um, Actually, I, I did tell Pam, and we decided no. So, I'm thinking there's another conversation coming. Mm -hmm. It's hard to know when that will be. Is it almost time to cut the pancake or what? Uh, yeah, God, we appreciate everyone coming so early. It's If it wasn't for you, I never would have met Laura. Mm. Gotta dodge the bullet on that one. <laughs> oh, Jesus! What about you? What are you doing? Not gravel. I'm <laughs> still at the same job. Good, things are good. Got some stuff in the works. Meanwhile... You love the news, right? Well, it depends. Well, I got a buddy that's a big time local news producer. He's looking for on-air talent and he'd kill me if I didn't get you on tape. You'll just come over, put on a little lipstick, loosen up with a glass of red wine, and then we'll just run through. Um, why do I gotta have wine, wine for? Different way. Think it over. It was a year ago today that I met Laura, and today I have a surprise for you. You play piano? No. Roy? No. Oh, Pam is about to get her feelings hurt. <laughs> She's got a way about her. I don't know what it is without her. Good, strong. <laughs> don't be in the feels. Y'all are fine. Tell me one thing about you. I don't know. Mm. Moment of truth. Tell her. Um, okay. Senator and I still have mystery. <laughs> I'm always waiting to see what he's going to surprise me with next. <laughs> oh, he has a surprise, all right. <laughs> Clark wants to film you in different outfits inside his apartment. Yeah. Clark, you and I need to have a little. <laughs> what clothes does Aaron need for this news audition? A couple of button downs. And then, you know, maybe just a robe to wear in between takes, but I probably got one that she could borrow. Oh, Jesus. And someone here knows what they're talking about. <laughs> Andy, numb nuts. Take Aaron to the mall and get that stuff. Yes, and okay. first, celebrity crush. John Yes, you've been a stalker of Pam's for quite some time. <laughs> okay, I have one. I have one. I like that. What is the what craziest is your place like... you ever made hey. poopy? And did you show them the market? Yeah. And what they say? I'm not going to tell her until it's real. Your mom. She's going to be mad. There actually is something I don't know about Jim. Mm -mm. She knows. <laughs> Aaron has an audition to be a newscaster. And I want her to feel very comfortable in her very sexy skin. So everybody say something that you like about her body. All right? Daryl. Okay. What? Why not? Her credibility or her reliability. The human race finds attractive people more trustworthy. Most trusted man in America, Walter Cronkite. Cronkite was hot. 
I could go back in time, I'd take that mustache red. Hold up. Jesus, Meredith, be quiet. <laughs> She's always ready to do someone. Later. A couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. I ran into this guy from my high school, and he hit on me in the mall. And I didn't tell you because, I don't know, I felt embarrassed. That didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You would have told me right away. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> Just tell me. God, give it up, Beasley. He's not trying to tell her. Everybody. Yeah. Come in. Bob. What is he wearing? Sorry, man. Eddie thought Aaron needed a go anchor. The victim was released from the hospital with second degree burns. Wow. You know what they say, Aaron, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Well, he tried to, but the fire door was blocked. He sure did. Dry. Andy with his dry humor. Yep, she's done. All right. I'm hungry. You're the stupid one. You're, You're the stupid, stupid one. one. You, You're you, the you, stupid you, one. you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, Dwight and Nelly are getting along. That episode was eh. It was alright. Not one of my faves. Slow. I mean, it was about Roy getting married, which was cool. Roy's doing a lot better than Jim and Pam expected. Jim isn't telling Pam about the the deal that he got going on. I forget the name the names of the new guys, but one of them with the glasses, the one that I said was on Hot Tub Time Machine, he was trying to, I don't know, do some sneaky shit with Aaron and sell it as if he was trying to get her to be a news anchor. It was okay. It wasn't great. 